A 65-year-old man has a tumor of the upper lobe of the right lung that caused compression of the superior vena cava. Which of the following vessels is likely to be distended being a direct tributary of the superior vena cava? Here you can see the relation of the uh, upper lobe of the right lung to the superior vena cava. This is the uh, upper lobe of the right lung. And you can see the close relation to the superior vena cava. So which of the veins is likely to be distended being a direct tributary of the superior vena cava? What are the direct tributaries here? A direct tributary is the right brachiocephalic vein, left brachiocephalic vein, and the arch of the azygous vein that opens into the posterior part of the superior vena cava at the level of the second costal cartilage on the right side at the transthoracic plane. So let's see the options here. Azygous vein. Yes, this is the correct option, as I have just mentioned. It is the arch of the azygous that opens into the superior vena cava. It's a direct tributary of the superior vena cava and might get distended because of the compression of the superior vena cava. The coronary sinus is the main vein that drains the heart and it opens into the right atrium and not into the superior vena cava, so it will not be affected. The hemiazygous vein is located on the left side. The vein crosses the midline and it drains into the azygous vein. And it is the azygous vein that drains into the superior vena cava. So the hemiazygous vein is not a direct tributary of the superior vena cava. Yes, the blood in the hemiazygous and the accessory hemiazygous veins, ultimately they drain into the superior vena cava, but it is not a direct tributary of the superior vena cava as has been mentioned in the stem of this question. Internal thoracic vein might also be affected being a tributary of the subclavian vein. So the internal thoracic vein is a tributary of the subclavian vein, but the subclavian vein will form the brachiocephalic vein and then the brachiocephalic vein will form the superior vena cava. In other words, the internal thoracic vein is not a direct tributary of the superior vena cava. Accessory hemiazygous vein, I have just mentioned that the accessory hemiazygous and the hemiazygous veins, they drain into the azygous, but they are not direct tributaries of the superior vena cava.